Hello and welcome back to the Kitchen Table Modeler. My name's Ian and this is my Kitchen Table Modeler setup. So, uh, what have we got for you today? Well, it's another inbox for you. I know, loads and loads of inbox reviews. I do have a big stash. Um, I will be coming with some build videos shortly, but I'm trying to get some content up for you guys. Seems you've been waiting to load um, for quite a while since my last upload. Um, so it's an inbox review and it's an, it's one I haven't done very really much of. It's, it's actually of a a ship should we say um, and it is air fixes HMS Tiger and HMS Daring kit in 1 600 scale now I was given this kit by a great friend and colleague of mine um, who's had a bit of a clear out and found this and asked if I'd like it and I jumped at the chance uh, not the scale I usually work in 1 600 but it's an interesting subject really interesting subject kind of uh, post-war British Navy um, what would you call that? A cruiser, maybe? I'm not overly au fait about <laughs> ships, but it, it's just a fantastic subject. I thought, well, why not have a look at it? So I thought, if I want to have a look at it, you guys might like to have a look at it. So enough waffle for me. Let's get the kit on the table and have a look. So there we go on the table. And this kit is brand new. It's never been opened. It's still in its shrink wrap. So uh, just to prove that I do get the odd occasional kit that's never been opened. Quick bit of info about this kit. So it was first tooled in 1960. So we are talking, what, 60 year old kit. And this last tooling, which this box in is, is from 2002. So this is even a, a 21 year old kit now. Um, so it's, it's not a youngster by any stretch of the imagination. So let me get a knife and we will get the shrink wrap off. And we'll have a look at the box. And to be fair, Airfix, I've not never done an Airfix ship kit before now. So this will be a first for me to even have a look at. There we go. Bear with me a second. Wow, there we go. So what have we got in the box? So this is uh, Series 4, Skill Level 2. And we have a kit number is 04213 HMS Tiger and HMS Daring. Um, look at the side, both ships are designed late World War II and into service in the Royal Navy in the 50s. So, yeah, this is just late war post, post war shipping. Um, length is oh, two lengths, 282. And 198 millimeters or our oh, version one so version one will be hms tiger which is the longer one 282 and 32 millimeters and then hms daring is 198 and 22 millimeters so it's a decent size for a small ship um, beautiful box art as always from airfix and we love top opening box and well there we go what have we got? Oh, it's actually a double ship kit. Oh, well, there we go. I thought it was one, but now it's two. So, double the surprise. So, we've got two separate bags. Usual airfix. Everything's in one bag. We've got a very small set of decals. And then, we've got two sets of instructions. Well, instructions and painting guides. So, let's set this stuff to one side and we'll go through the instructions first so, so we'll look at HMS Tiger first so she's the larger of the two ships if you want to freeze frame it you can read the blurb there we go so single page opening out so let's move the box up there. Part one is oh, out of practice of doing this part one. So we've got gluing the hole together, one piece deck, uh, rear superstructure, forward superstructure, two funnels going together, plus the stands. Part two, we've main gun on the front, secondary armament and the super firing turret. We've got some hose details and a jack staff. And then we've got, I'm assuming this is 
uh, well, say gun turret details, possibly not, might be radar detectors. And Carly floats maybe going along here. Um, and there's a radar there for part three on the Ford superstructure. Part four, we've got the main mast. Part five, we've got the Derrick ship's boats. And I'm not quite sure what they are. Possibly an anti aircraft or something, not sure. Part six is the rear mast. We've got some secondary armament and main armament rear turret. Part seven rudder, prop shafts, and screws, and that's it. And then we go on to the second part of the instructions. So, what have we got here? We've got the painting guide for HMS Tiger. So it'll be admirably grey with black boot topping. Um, this will be humble colours here. I don't know them, so I couldn't tell you them. I have seen photographs, so it's basically grey, I think, hull red. And then the decks are deck green. And HMS Daring will be of a similar type colour. Looking at that. Yeah, 73, 30, 27, 34. So it's exactly the same colours, you've got to paint them up both the same. And we'll have a look at the instructions for HMS Daring. So it's all on one piece of paper, so this isn't going to be an involved build. So similar construction, two hull halves, full piece one piece deck going in. We've got the main armament on the front. Part two, we've got the shaft, screws and rudder. Part three, we have the rear superstructure, I fear. Is that rear superstructure? No, that's the forward superstructure with a super fire and turret on the front. And that possibly will be a funnel. Part four, we've got some secondary armaments, uh, main mast. Part five, we've got the rear superstructure, rear funnel, torpedo tubes, boat derricks, and ship's boats. Part six, we've got another ship's boat going on, uh, possibly some anti aircraft or secondary armament. Um, Part seven, we've got possibly radar there, depth charge firers, rear mast, and final rear turret. Seven parts, so not a lot. So these models will come together pretty quickly. Right, let's have a look at the plastic now, shall we? We may as well go for the big one first. Because who doesn't like a big battleship? Sorry, shaking the camera. Right. So, let's be fair and say we all know these molds are 60 year old. So let's let's keep in mind these were built in the 1960s. So, two hull halves and a main deck. Forward superstructure. Uh, rear superstructures. Parts for the masts mast tops, boat derrick, rear masts, rudders, screws, anchors, funnels, main armament guns, barrels, secondary armaments, boat derricks and boats. Not a lot to it. The plastic is actually really nice. That lovely crisp plastic that Airfix sometimes moulds in. We've got some, as you see that, we've got some porthole detail there. And we've got a very, very fine um, waterline moulded into a bit of shine off that. There we go. You see the very fine moulded line for the waterline. So we've got porthole details running down, and we've got some more porthole details at the rear. We've got the Shaft alley exit where the prop shafts come out. Um, both same on both sides, and they'll just tease that out and break it, but they'll go together. Four, four connection points. Look at the deck. So a lot of molded detail in the deck, and 
you know, this is 1960s mouldings. There we go. Can we see the chain detail there? It's not bad for 1960s. These are welded steel decks, so there isn't going to be any wood decking on it. We've got fittings on the deck. They're nicely moulded. Big, big connection holes, but I'm sure we can do something with that. Nice fittings there, all directly moulded at the deck. All the bulwarks here for tying off ropes or mooring lines. We've got representations of in focus there we go of the companionways going through the doorways and on the front front superstructure so you know if we're realistic this is 60 year old molding and it's still really really good right we'll have a look at this this is the main armaments they're a bit flashy but it's nothing that can't clean off it's going to take a bit of detailed painting to paint this up, to be fair. But nothing that's insurmountable. And, you know, this is one six hundred scale. It's not big. We've got turrets and we've got gun barrels. The gun barrels are nicely formed. They're going to go in with minimal cleanup. The props, really, really delicate props. Absolutely minuscule detail on that. And you see that against my hand. I've got huge hands and those props are tiny. As with the anchors, but you can tell it's an anchor. It's really quite nice. The funnel, we've got some ribbon detail in the funnels. And then if we move along to the main forward superstructure and the bridge, all the bridge windows are molded in. You, know, you can paint them black or dark grey to show against the light grey, admirably grey hull. There is a little bit of damage on the front. Um, superstructure but nothing that can't be repaired with a little bit of care and attention but there's no flash on these parts we've got a few sink marks here on the boats again nothing that can't be fixed all in all really nice parts and then we look here so we've got I'm assuming these are lines of Carly floats here for the crew for the ship was to go down got the main mast it's a bit chunky let's be fair but it's 60 year old molding technology so a little bit of a clean clean up and it'll come up okay we've got these parts here there is ejector pins on them but again a little bit of clean up and they're going to be fine and then we've got the derrick for the ship's boats for, for the time it was molded it's really quite nice the shafts a little bit bent they're obviously going to be quite fragile but nothing that can't straighten up with a bit of care and attention um rear masts and radar assemblies that's all really quite nice and let's face it it's only a skill level two so we're not expecting it to be really really difficult it's just going to be a simple fun build and this could be a nice weekend build Right, let's have a look at HMS Daring then. See how daring she is. Excuse the pun. May as well start with the deck. Again, same as HMS Tiger. One one piece moulded deck. Move Tiger's parts out of the way. One piece moulded deck. And there you go. So we've got the lower half of the Ford superstructure moulded in. We've got the midships and aft superstructure. We have, there'll be steel decks again. We've got a lovely, lovely uh, breakwater moulded in here before the forward turret. And lovely chain, anchor chain details moulding the deck. So, you know, for 60 year old mouldings, you know, really nice. Right, hull halves. So we've just got two sprues. We've got, if I get that in the picture, if I move that out of the way and put my hand behind. So we've got beautifully moulded porthole detail. I mean, realistic, that's excellent. There is a waterline moulded on the hull, so that'll be an aid for painting. We've got forward superstructure, prop shafts. We've got the rear depth charge dispenser. Again, the propellers, look at them. They're tiny, but they're really nice. A little bit flashy, but 60-year-old moulds, you know, it's they're all right for what it is. Stand, 
we've got a mass detail here and then main armament turrets here and the rudder and then we look at the other other sprue half so we have similar level of detail on the hull looks really nice excellent stuff we have got torpedo tubes secondary armament boats boat derricks are a bit chunky might be able to replace them with a bit of bent wire again i'm not sure what these are if they're the main armaments but they're showing yeah i do they might be the main armaments but they're showing their age they really are but the chances are you could get yourself a set of brass set for a couple of quid so that might be worth doing two halves of them oh, funnels really chunky ejector pins on them but the detail's not bad uh, boat derricks here we've got the forward superstructure uh, midships i think that one and then we've got another level for the forward superstructure here yeah all in all not bad and that's it two really simple kits that i actually think this would be a really good weekend build and they'll look nice on the display shelf yeah just before we go back to the bench decals thought i'd better show them really nicely printed they're all in register um, matte in finish minimal carrier film and super thin so i can't see them being a problem at all uh, to work with so there we are two old um but interesting subjects uh i didn't realize it was two ships of different classes um but interesting really interesting and if we put it all in context 60 year old molds and the details still there it's still um, you're still going to build an interesting kit um, and it's a fantastic mojo kit this thing's going to go together in a weekend no bother both of them will go together in a weekend no bother at all overall gray deck green hull red black boot stop boot top line or bootstrap line along the hull detail painting the props you know the odd bit of white bit here and there green decks it, it's just something you can use this as a, a pick-me-up if you're st stuck with a, a big complex build just chuck one of these together and forget about it but interestingly and this is an interesting part um, I did do a quick bit of research on the internet last night and I think it's Atlantic models do do a photo etch updates the set for HMS Tiger and I think you can get bits and pieces to do the masts for HMS Daring so you can take a 60 year old kit now and bring it up to date in the 21st century with mass details um, I know it has the replacement derrick um, you've got all the photo etch railings so that will then take this kit from being an old but respectable kit to being an old but very well detailed kit and a fantastic display model so thoughts yeah worth it if you can get it now this is the other thing this was last tooled in 2002 so 21 years ago good luck finding it um, I didn't know it existed until I was given it and when I did a bit of research can't find any on eBay um, they're just unobtainium so yeah if you can find it I'd say grab it and give it a go give it a build if you've got the extra cash by the photo H set I think it's about a tenner uh, which is a tenner really well spent because you'll then take a little model and make it a really detailed model and something that's interesting and to be fair British British naval vessels post-war um, you know and sort of late war vessels were quite interesting um, they put a lot of time and development uh, development into building more modernized ships and this is the sort of stuff they were producing it was really good stuff um, interesting stuff to model and at that time britain was still a global operator naval operator so these ships did go all over the world and there'll be people interested in seeing them so i have to say this is highly recommended if you can find it grab it give it a go and and, and have fun anyway if you have any questions as always pop them below i always take time to read them and appreciate everyone taking time to put a question to me um, and if you'd like the channel then feel free to like and subscribe if you'd like um, always very much appreciated 
So until next time, thanks for watching and happy modeling.